Did you know that the eggplant emoji means penis? I figured this week we would just get right into it. Hi, welcome to What the Kids Be Saying. I am your host, Esther Burnott. What the Kids Be Saying is your source of behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom. Today, we will be discussing all things emoji. Well, here's the story. One time we were playing Kahoot in the classroom and the most important decision that you will ever make when you are playing Kahoot is what is your name gonna be on the game board for everyone to see. I'm overhearing these two girls have a private conversation because kids always think they're whispering when they're not. And the conversation played out a little something like this. Do you think Miss Granat knows what the eggplant emoji means? No, she probably doesn't. But let's ask. I am faced with a very difficult decision. Do I admit that I know what the eggplant emoji means? And thus deter her from putting it on the board for everyone to see? Or do I foolishly play dumb and risk her putting it on the board for the entire class? I was foolish. I just didn't have the guts to admit to her that I knew what that meant. So I decided it would be wise of me to educate you all so that you do not make the same mistake. So here I will provide you with a comprehensive list of emoji translations so that you can better communicate to the Gen Z in your life. Or maybe catch them in the act of doing something that you don't think they should be doing. Next up, let's talk about flirting. The winky face emoji, heart eyes emojis, kissy face emojis, are all reserved for flirting. Wait. The sneeze emoji. You would think that this means that you're sneezing or that you're sick. No, the kids use this to demonstrate that something that you just said made them emotional. So they needed to do it. Drooling, sweating, that means you're thirsty. Like, thirsty, like the kind of thirsty for like, attention thirsty. We all know that the poop emoji means the S word. Talking head emoji. It means I'm saying this loud for the people in the back. The snake emoji. That's the emoji for slime. You should know that already. We talked about that in season one. The fire emoji. That's for when something's lit. If you don't know what lit is, you're really living under a rock. The coffee emoji is used for tea. There's a tea emoji, but you use the coffee emoji when you're talking about tea, spilling some tea. We the fax machine. That means fax. F-A-C-T-S. Facts, no printer. The receipt emoji means show me proof. I want receipts. So the kids say. The 100, keeping it 100. That means the truth, I'm telling the truth, or a reaction to the truth. The coffin one and the skull one mean dead. Something was so funny I died laughing. The peach emoji means booty. I must warn you that after this point in the video, it is PG-13. So if there are little ears around and little eyes around, I suggest that maybe you watch this later. I'll wait. I looked this up online. I will cite my source. I don't have the guts to say all this out loud. So I'm just gonna scroll a picture across the screen for about 10, 15 seconds, digest the information, and then I will get back to you. Probably ruined emojis for you. And I'm so sorry for that. But I figured that there's some parents out there who probably need to know this information or some teachers who like are gonna start kicking some names off of Kahoot. I just really wanna see if I can make a career on YouTube out of snitching on kids. <laughs> for now y'all, stay hip friends.